This is hideous. This is like a pukey baby food. I don't even know what to call that. It's like mustard almost. Why? What is up you guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackenzie. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. So, the glass is here. If you didn't get a chance to watch my last YouTube video, I will link that down below or up in a card somewhere. We did some online glass shopping. I admit, not something I do frequently anymore, but I wanted to show you guys what it's like to actually shop for glass online. And I picked some up so we can unbox it together. So checking out some online glass sounds like something you're into. Let's get started. All right, guys, so I feel like we should start with the not so fun one first, and that is just that small glass pack that I got from Amazon. Of course, I'll put the listing up here or down in my description box below. I do believe it is actually out of stock right now. I think it's back in stock in February, which is a bummer, but let me just look really quick. Okay, so it does say that it's out of stock, but it will be back on February 5th. So this is a $32.99 glass pack. It is eight sheets of glass, but they're only four by six. So very small, but it's still an iridescent glass pack, only 32 bucks. It's really only worth it if you do have Prime, because if you have to pay shipping too, then you're not really getting that much bang for your buck. But Anyways, I ordered this on January 6th and because I have Prime, it did in fact come on January 8th and again, it was $31.99 total, came to $33.99 with tax. So, well, let's take a look at this one first. It's packed very well, I will say that. So there's this big foam piece on the top and right inside you can see all of your little sheets or tiles of glass. I like the way that it's packed. It's packed very securely, so worrying about it breaking is not something you have to do. So I'm just gonna dump it out if I can. So first impression, of course, these are very small pieces of glass. Now, like I had mentioned in my last video, things like this are only really a good option for those artists that are just starting and don't have access to online stores. If you can make do with a piece like this, then it's absolutely worth it. So for me looking at it, of course, right away, it's quite shocking how small it is. Again, we knew that ahead of time though. So I shouldn't be shocked, but they're very pretty pieces of glass, very unique. I'll get closer here in a second, but again, what was it? One, yeah, eight pieces of four by six glass. So again, if you're just starting, this is definitely a good option, but let's look through all of our pieces of glass here. So we're starting out with this nice dark blue, and it's definitely one of those like semi-matte iridescents. It is gonna be really hard to see that with this camera lighting, there we go. Okay, so you can see how it's got that almost matte outer coating, but it's a very pretty iridescent. It's not <clears throat> the ugly section of glass, if you know what I mean. I often, often reference that like brownish red iridescent that mostly sometimes spectrum iridescent glasses tend to have. This is nothing like that. This is very pretty. It's got mostly a teal blue and a little bit of yellow up in that corner to the iridescent. I think that's pretty. Again, it's all dependent on if you guys can make this stuff work. So if these pieces are big enough for you, then it's gonna be worth it. It's cheap, it's 32 bucks, and if you've got Prime free shipping, and best of all, it comes quick. So if for some reason you're in a pinch, you need some type of new glass, which honestly somehow I often find myself in, even though I have a ridiculous amount of glass, I always tend to feel like I need more and I need it quickly, but this is very pretty, very, very pretty. Again, dark blue wispy base. And another one here, which is in between, I guess it's almost, it's not brick orange. It's, I guess, tangerine. So this one is a tangerine and white wispy base, and it's got a very much yellow and green iridescent to it. Can you see that okay? Again, this is gonna be really hard to pick up with these filming lights right here. So we've got that orange. Then this, I have no idea who would be using this glass. This is hideous. This is like a pukey baby food. I don't even know what to call that. It's like mustard almost. Why? And it's iridescent. 
Who the hell is using this? This one's ugly. I do not like this one. It's very much pea green and this is the exact iridescent I'm talking about. Again, I'll show you guys up close. This is the iridescent I do not like. So, so far, this sheet I would never use. Oh, here's a pretty one. So this one's almost like a violet base. This one looks very much periwinkle or violet and white wispy based. And the iridescent is again that semi-matte iridescent and it's mostly pink. Again, I'm gonna get up closer to you guys so you can see since these pieces are so small. Here's another bluish one. This is very much a sea foam based. Light, light, light green blue. And the iridescent, this one's a lot more glossy, very much pink, blue, and yellow iridescent on this one. Another blue here. This is a lot of blue. It's an odd color mix, I will say that. But this one's really pretty. Again, this is very much periwinkle. I don't know how to describe that color. It's not purple, but it's not blue. It's right in between, very light pastel purple maybe. And the iridescent is very glossy, but it's just a blue and green iridescent. So not the best. I like my iridescent to have a lot of rainbow within it. You know what I mean? Ooh, this one's unique. This is cool. Okay, the base is not my favorite, but it's a green, brown, and white wispy base. Can you guys see that okay? It's not the prettiest, but the iridescent is very pretty. The iridescent, we've got blue, yellow, or that yellow gold, and a little bit of pink on the side. So the iridescent, we get a little bit of option within. Very pretty. Not my favorite base though. All right, and the last one here, again, very odd colors. I don't know who is choosing these colors, but I don't know. Okay, so this is a very much beige. It looks, I can see it looks yellow on camera, but it's a very beige base, and the iridescent is that ugly, nasty iridescent that I do not like. All right, you guys will have to let me know what you thought of this glass pack. I feel like I might have sounded a little bit harsh, but I can be really picky when it comes to glass, especially iridescent, because it's all that I work with for the most part. So let me know down in the comments below, what did you guys think of this glass pack? Because if this is something you guys are into, then for my upcoming giveaway for whenever I hit 5K subscribers, I'll add in a glass pack like this. But if you guys didn't like the iridescent either, then I will pick something else or a different glass pack. So. Let me know in the comments below if you liked it. Okay, now for the fun part. I am so excited. I haven't gotten to shop with, however we say her name, Leslie's glass shop in so long. So I've got my receipt right here so we can go over all of that. So before we open up this box, we got four sheets of a 12 by 12. We got three sheets of an eight by six ripple. We got one more sheet of this red 12 by 12 two sheets of another eight by six, and one last sheet of an eight by six. And our total came to $123. And with shipping, which was $19.99, and tax, which was $7.68, it was a total of $150.67 for everything in this box, including shipping. So also wanted to add in my order date. So I ordered this on January 6th. It didn't ship until January 11th, and it delivered on January 14th. So. Let's get into it. Okay, so again, if you guys watch my last video, then you'll remember that I've shopped with her. I used to shop with her all the time until I stopped shopping online. I love her shop, I love her glass, but every time I've ordered before, it's always been in a much smaller box. I don't even think she offered 12 by 12 pieces in, so I'm really excited to see how she packages her stuff now. So obviously right on the top, we've got a whole bunch of packing peanuts. We'll get rid of those. So we've got another box in a box here. It looks like we've got a small glass pack on top and then a little makeshift box underneath. So I think this might be everything. It's packed very well. So this ensures that no corners of your glass are going to get chipped or smacked during shipping. So that's really good, I love that. Ooh, 
look at this, you guys, I want more. Oh, there's a little bit of a scratch right here. I don't like that because I can't use that. So pretty though. Okay, so first up, you guys, we've got this. I remember specifically pointing this out on my last video as one of my all-time favorites. It is that beautiful mauve lavender base, and it's got that stunning high fire iridescent to it. Again, if I need to, I'll pop, pop up pictures of what it looks like in the actual sunlight if this isn't picking it up well enough. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this type of glass, this type of iridescent, really, really pretty. And you guys, I'm sure are very familiar with this because I've picked up some big boy sheets of this recently. Ooh, this seems to be a little different though. This isn't that standard purple. Can you guys see that? Oh, I'm gonna need to put light behind me. Can you see that? That is much more maroon. So that is different. Okay, I was right. I remember thinking that when I ordered it too. That's why I grabbed a few. So if you guys watch my actual shopping for stained glass videos, then you know I picked up a ton of this deep purple ripple just like this. But this is definitely maroon based. Very, very pretty. Cool, so it's that maroon base and it's got, again, that beautiful high shine, high fired iridescent on the front. So I picked up quite a few of these. Well, not quite a few, just three. So here is sheet number two. So stunning. That purple is very pretty. It's very much grape. Very, very, very much great, but that is very, very beautiful. Look at that iridescent, guys. That's stunning. And again, it's like, it's maroon. Very much grape maroon. Very cool. Last sheet of that. Here's the iridescent, beautiful iridescent. I love all three of these pieces and will absolutely use up all of it. Every bit of that iridescent is perfect for me. Okay, so we've got three pieces of that. Ooh, oh my gosh, which one is this? Is this amber? It is, I should have ordered more of this. Guys, don't go and steal it from me, but if she has more of this in stock, I'm going and ordering this immediately. Can you guys see that? Look at that, you guys, holy crap, that's like a firework. Oh my gosh, and that is on this stunning amber glass. Can you see that? Very deep amber. I cannot get over how beautiful that iridescent is. Like, are you kidding me right now? I, I don't even know how to describe that. I'm never gonna wanna use this. I'm immediately going back onto her website when I'm done with this to see if she has any more. But again, it's that beautiful deep amber base and that stunning firework-like iridescent. That is insane. So beautiful. Okay, I could talk about this forever. We need to move on. And this is our very last piece and this matches our first. Oof, I don't know how I feel about this. Now this is one of the reasons I don't like shopping online. So again, it's that beautiful lavender base, but Look at the iridescent. So we've got that stunning high fired iridescent, but it's only rainbow right here. All This entire chunk is silver, AKA unusable for me. I mean, of course I can use it on those very rare occasions. And if I can make a very small piece just out of this section, then I can. Otherwise it's useless. So because I just use iridescent, it's not like I can just take bits and pieces out of this and put it in another piece. This is why I don't like shopping online. I need to see the quality and the color of iridescent in a sheet. So like this, this entire thing is absolutely beautiful. The whole thing is rainbow. I'm obsessed with that. This on the other hand, it's not even iridescent. You know what I mean? It's missing half of its iridescent. But that is our little last eight by six piece. Again, it's the same as this one. That really pretty lavender base though. I do love that base color. I wish the whole thing was like this, you know? This one's beautiful. This one's missing some iridescent. It's a bummer. 
Well, at least I got two so I can mix them together maybe and make a big moon phase or something. Ooh, look at this guys. This is unique. This is very cool. Wow, this is like a coral. How would you describe that color, guys? Let me turn it around. Look at that, that's beautiful. It's very much, oh, I guess it is pumpkin orange. A pumpkin orange, but when you look at the side, that has that high fire, beautiful rainbow iridescent. It looks almost peachy. That is stunning. Again, another piece I'm immediately going back onto her site and ordering more of. This one is a standard 12 by 12. This was $21. Absolutely worth it if you ask me because that's a beautiful, unique piece of glass. So, so stunning. Ooh, you guys, you guys. I don't know what it is. But if you ask me, nothing can be a beautiful white-based rainbow iridescent. Wow. Okay, so how many of this did I get? I got four sheets of this. I believe that's everything left. I hope they are all as beautiful as this top piece. Sorry, I'm holding out on you guys. Okay, so beautiful solid white base. Can you see how this, this is very much a solid white? The Spectrum Rainbow Iridescent was something that, hopefully that's not hitting my mic. The white Spectrum Rainbow Iridescent was a huge favorite of mine for so long. I actually have some right there. But the problem with that is mixing that iridescent or that type of iridescent through a white base can almost give a hue or a cast of a yellow so it doesn't look white all the time. This looks bright white. That is beautiful. Now look at the iridescent. Wow, that is absolutely stunning. That classic super high fired rainbow iridescent. So again, we have this band of almost silver up at the top, but again, I got four sheets of this, so I should be able to absolutely make that work. And again, over here where it's got that silverish hue, it looks holographic in here. There's still a rainbow within that silver, so I'm really happy with that. That is absolutely stunning. Cool, okay, so we've got another piece that has that same iridescent patterning. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. So it's got very much rainbow on the bottom, but it's very silver up here. So we've got two pieces that look just like that. I'm absolutely okay with that. This glass is so beautiful. Again, finding white iridescent is not easy. Okay, now this piece, just like with all glass, no two pieces look the same. This looks like a totally different type of iridescent. But it's quite beautiful still. So if you can see down here at the bottom, do you see that dreaded color that I often reference? But there's very much a rainbow mixed into it, so I'm okay with it. I'm totally fine with this. This is absolutely beautiful. And again, guys, I know it might sound like I'm being very harsh or very picky, but at the end of the day, this is my job. This is my livelihood. This is my only job. And all I work with is iridescent. So the more picky I am, I feel like the better I'm giving to my customers and to my clients. Okay, so here's our last piece, and it is, again, beautiful. Okay, so... Can you see that okay? Look at that, guys. How stunning is that? Oh, and the camera will just never do it justice. That is absolutely beautiful. Again, and as always, Leslie's Glass Hut does not disappoint. It's been, I've been making glass. It's coming up on three years now, which is crazy. It feels like Still feels like I just started yesterday, but it's probably been well over a year since I've shopped with her Probably much closer to two years and I'm not disappointed. I am even happier than I was back then 
I love that she offers 12 by 12 and I love that her shipping is still a flat rate price. I'm so happy with all of this glass. I'm so excited, you guys. It's so beautiful. White iridescent is my favorite. Okay guys, with all that being said, I think that's it for today's video. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was fun for you. Hopefully you learned something, especially if you guys are just starting out. Online shopping is very much a feasible option no matter what you're looking for. If you're looking for iridescent or plain glass, definitely check out Leslie's Glass Hut. She has no idea I'm doing this. I'm sure she doesn't even remember who I am at this point. It's been so long since I've ordered from her, but I'm recommending her because I purely love her shop. The flat rate shipping, the prices, the selection is unbeatable. I absolutely love it. I was so happy with how today turned out. Let me know down in the comments below. Did you guys like that original Amazon glass pack? Because I am going to be doing, like I said earlier, a giveaway once I hit 5,000 subscribers, which hopefully will be soon. I think it's going to be, which is absolutely crazy, which I suppose I should say thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for watching. It means so much to me. I'm so glad to help you guys out. So let me know. Did you guys like that glass pack? Pack, or should I switch to a different one? Should I do plain or stick with iridescent? Let me know. Okay, so if you're not already subscribed, please do like this video if you did. I will link everything I can down below. If you want to check out my stained glass work and my stained glass business, that will be linked down below too. And if not, I'll see you next time. Bye.